the Thunder are without a handful of guys, somewhat undermanned. And then Jin got below the free throw line. Started this game to get them off of that driving mode that they like to stay in. And we get a whistle, and that will be another foul on the Thunder. Mish, something that the Thunder relied on over the 48 minutes. And now Ingles, miscommunication with Gobert. SGA turns on the speed down the lane, and that'll count. The angle on that running layup. He is so good coming off screens like that, Bogdanovich. That's a nice drive by Adams. Oh, my goodness. Steven Adams on the two-time defensive. And how about that strip as well? There was a lot of contact. Bogdanovich trying to tee that one up from downtown. No good. Long carry out to SGA. Three. And, you know, the patience here hopefully will pay off as you continue to set the jazz up. You get a couple of skyscrapers out there banging down low. SGA looking for some space, has it straight away, and that is right down the pipe. His second. Well, you got no Gallinari, you got no CP on the floor, you got no Adams on the floor, so someone's going to have to step up here on the offensive end, and that time off the nice big quick points. He's one of those guys, that, that's his living room right there. He is one of those guys who catches a lot of lobs. Is that to be a foul on you? As a miss, but just a missed shot. But he clearly affected the trajectory of that shot, which forced the miss. SGA still feeling it. It's causing problems for the Jazz. You got guys in there who, who are not normally in the ball game right now because you're a little shorthanded. Well, it was interesting because the Jazz kept looking for. That reverse layup, no good. Adams snatches away that rebound, and the Thunder can add to the lead. SGA steps into the three. And he's pulling off out of it. But it's, he knocks down his third three. The Thunder Thunder just continue to play. You're almost at halftime. You're getting good shots. The ball is falling through the basket. Five, Gobert sets the screen. There's a drive by O'Neal, but it was swatted by Adams, and now the Thunder with time. Schroeder. Leaves it off for SGA. Two, one, drives, and a foul with one. Well, that was Donovan Mitchell using the big body of Gobert off the screen. To try to get free for that three. SGA down the lane. Floats it up. That'll be a foul. And Joe. Inefficient on the night. Four out of 11. Adams is open underneath, but Bogdanovich came from behind to poke it free. Never had the right ideas. He was wide open. Bogdanovich gets run off the line by Paul and floats it up and in. You know, just keeping the Jazz off that free throw line. A whole lot of damage so far. This is just free throws five and six and an uncharacteristic miss, miss by Bogdanovich. No, he wasn't fouled. Yeah, that was, that, was a, that, was really, that was really a gift. Adams off the deck. Goes at Gobert and scores with a left hand, much like the first quarter. Oh, lost his footing. Open shot, O'Neal. Again misses. He has not yet made a shot tonight. He's now 0 for 4. SGA transition down the lane. Couldn't get it to drop in. That's a good play. You got to get building on opening night. A game played very similar to this one. And they have not allowed him to get second in buckets to get this crowd. Have the officials go over and review that. And of course, the call was upheld. It is a charge on Gobert. And you see Adams very pleased with the overall decision as SGA counted in the a sense. Well, uh, I thought, I thought Go Gobert got a little greedy. I like to see the big man bring the ball up the floor. He just got a little bit greedy. And Adams just waited for him and took the team. And the Thunder can push the lead even higher here in this third quarter. SGA, another floater, might have been blocked. It was clearly deflected. Well, that shooting percentage for the Jazz is so low right now. SGA, a little out of control there. Another offensive rebound by Gobert, it's free. And uh, Nader sends it up to Gilgis Alexander. He's free and he slams it home in transition. Well, he got a lot of contact in middle. Well, he likes defending out of the perimeter. Stands his ground and Noel knocks it free, it's loose. SGA comes up with yet another steal for the Thunder here in the second half. And just terrific defense. The drive, and it rolls off the rim. See what the Thunder do here on the offensive end. SGA around the screen. 
Holds up in front of Gobert, and it rolls out Knight. In the second half, Mitchell trying to drive. Got to the rim. Noel blocked the shot. What a defensive play on that Mitchell drive as Nerlens Noel with two. Stretching the Jazz offense, or excuse me, defense, and then offensively exploding it, getting the mismatches they want. SGA rushed that shot. You know, he's more comfortable in motion than he is standing still as Ingles had the left side, his strong hand. Just another missed shot by Utah. And that was a lot of pressure. I mean, you're, they're seeing blue shirts. And the Thunder have had the ball, and you also had your offense going, too. But you got to, you're at the century mark right now with four minutes to go. It has been a thorough dismantling here. Now remember, during the game, you said you felt a little uncomfortable still, <laughs> even though the Thunder were ahead. You know, I just liked how the numbers look for the Thunder. You know, every guy that stepped on that hardwood tonight. Well, Billy Donovan said before the game that he was going to rely on his deep bench as Muscala made a big shot in the first half plus minutes in his third career NBA game. And then, of course, you get the production from Maryland's Noel and Dennis Schroeder. And Nader and Baisley both slotting up into the start.